back. Eminent economist Professor Jagdisha Bhagwati has said that Commerce and Industry Minister Nirmala Sitaraman, who is in the U.S. right now, is the wrong person for the job. Professor Bhagwati told NDTV that Ms. Sitaraman's uh, training is from the Jawaharlal Nehru University, which is a which is a anti-trade policies and that Prime Minister needs people in high places right now who are able to really stand up to Indian interests properly defined. When you spoke about this free trade agreement, we saw a strategic and commercial dialogue clubs right. together for the very first time. Nirmala Sitaraman made the point that if Americans want a greater access to Indian markets, then they have to appreciate Indian concerns as well. So, where do you, how do you see the trade equation? Yeah, but you see, it depends on what you mean by trade concerns. Now, I, I, I mean, she's a perfectly respectable person, but on the other hand, her training and trade is from, you know, JNU, which is really a Nehru University, which is a fine campus for a variety of things. But on trade, it is the locus classicus of all the anti-trade people. But, but it could not be her individual policy. I mean, it's oh, obviously no, the government's policy that she's representing. No, but she re defines the government policy. And you see, so the problem is... So you're saying India's being too protectionist still? Yes, because you see, there's nobody uh, over here, in, in, say, in, among the professors who were teaching her, who would tell her protection was bad or give her the evidence in favor of trade liberalization. So when people like like currently, uh, when, when you have the duty on steel going up, mm. there's, there have to be a bunch of bureaucrats mm. who are well trained or the minister herself who are going to say, no, we'll, we'll, this is not good for us mm. uh, because this, this creates problems for the auto industry and so on and so forth. And protectionism generally is not a good idea. Mm. There's nobody doing that, you see. So I think the Americans, of course, will given that vacuum, will move in with their own idea of what we should be doing. Oh. And that is what's worrisome a bit to, to me, which is that since we do not have anybody in high authority right now uh, who is able to, to really stand up for Indian interests properly defined.